Hello guys, and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about the advanced features of the TypeScript type system. In particular, uh, I'm gonna talk about the union, intersection, and the string literal types. So, let's start. Let's first talk about the string literal types, because uh, it's way simpler. So, suppose you have some kind of function uh, that requires uh, one of the parameters to be a string. And suppose the string uh, is supposed to be one of a few uh, options, which are like a closed list, uh, like jQuery, for example, uh, which has uh, something like function uh, on and event name and a callback. Okay, and it does a few things. I won't implement it. So the callback is supposed to be a function, okay? but the event name is a string. But the problem is uh, that I can call the function on with something like click, okay, and the function, and it will be okay. But I can also, also make a mistake and call it with click without a k. The compiler won't yell at me because he doesn't really know uh, that click without a k is a wrong parameter. But I really want it to yell at me. So what can I do? I can specify a, a type for the string, which is a string literal type, which is uh, something like an enum. And let's just uh, uh, declare it, event name, and it will be a list of strings, so it can be a click, or it can be a, I don't know, hover, uh, or it can be, I don't know, mouse, uh, enter. Mouse, enter, for example. Okay, so all I want to do is support one of these, and when I put the uh, event name, the type event name here, uh, now the compiler yells at me and it tells me that the argument click without a k is not assignable uh, to the uh, expected uh, parameter. And I can see here that it uh, tells me what, the, what my options can be. It can be click, hover or mouse enter. Uh, and that's it. Now, it is very good and uh, powerful when you're uh, writing, I don't know, a, a DTS uh, file uh, for another library which supports strings as a parameter. Uh, those of you who do not know what DTS, you can click at the top right corner of the video and uh, watch my episode about it. But uh, if you're writing your own library, please prefer uh, writing some enums instead of strings, uh, it is much clearer. Okay, so that's it for the string literal types, it's very simple. Let's go over to uh, union types. Okay, now, um, okay, suppose you have a class, class cat, okay, Constructor which has a I don't know name name and a public name and a public number of lives which is a number okay and suppose we have a class dog dog which has also a name, but also uh, is barking on nay, nay, uh, nay, Boris, okay, which is a boolean, and we have a class person, okay which has also a name, which is a string, and an age, which is a number. Okay, and now we want to, to write a function 
that can rename the object. The function should do should be something like this: function rename. It will receive a thing and a new name, which will be a string, and it will do a thing dot name equals new name. Okay. But and we will want to pass the rename function our new cat which will be I don't know fluffy and number of lives nine and the new name is uh, I don't know Mitzi I want to pass a dog which is uh, I don't know uh, spark and it, it barks on neighbors and I want to rename it to uh, speedy and I want to rename a person named uh, Ben which uh, and he's uh, I don't know uh, 18 and he decided to rename himself to uh, I don't know uh, uh, John okay that's what he wants to do. So now the compiler uh, doesn't yell at me because the thing is actually a, an any and it can receive any type. But I want to uh, restrict, it, restrict it for it to not be able to rename, for instance, a number. Okay, a number. So now it accepts it, but I want it not to accept it. Okay, so what can I do? Uh, the first thing that I uh, might do is create a common interface for all those uh, cat, dog and person classes. Uh, but if it's uh, only one method that requires it, it may be uh, too much to create an interface. Uh, I don't know, maybe you don't want to. Or maybe uh, you don't really uh, have an idea of what a common interface it can be. Uh, for instance, here it should be something like uh, nameable, I, I don't know, um, which has a public property name. But, uh, for instance, if you have a function, uh, I don't know, print date, which receives a date, okay, and uh, uh, does something here, I don't know, uh, prints the date. And you want to be able to res to print the date with a new date, uh, print date. Sorry. And you want to be able to print date uh, with uh, I don't know string. Uh, so today is thirteen oh five two thousand seventeen. Or you want to be able to print date in, uh, I don't know, as a number, uh, starting with a total of milliseconds passed since the, I don't know, uh, which can be something like this. Okay, so you uh, want to be able to do it like this, but you, want, you don't want to be able to print a date passing an object. And now you can do it. In this case, uh, I cannot think of any common interface with, uh, that uh, handles the date, the string and the number, and doesn't handle the object. So uh, what can we do here? We can uh, use uh, something that is called uh, union type. Okay, union type. Uh, what it means is, some, uh, let's let me just show you the syntax for. Uh, so I can receive here neither a cat or a dog or a person. So. Now, when I rename the new cat, dog, and person, it is okay, but when I try to rename a, a number, it tells me that the number is not uh, assignable uh, to cat or dog or person. Why is that? <coughs> so, the thing here can be uh, either a cat or a dog or a, page or a person. What union type uh, does is it looks at the cat and the dog and the person, all of the or statements, and, find, and finds the most common uh, interface describing all of the things. So, for example, if I add the function it to all of them, okay, it, 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 because all of them can it, now I can also call the function it, but I cannot call the a, I cannot use the age, the is barking on neighbors, or the number of lives of uh, each object. 
same uh, and because the one doesn't have the property name it yells at me so same goes for uh, the date I can pass it a string or a number or a date okay and now the object is not a valid parameter for the print date function so after we finished looking at the union types let's look at the intersection types and how they work okay so sorry I need the exam. so let's take the cat and the dog from here and put it over here and make it simple for the example okay now suppose we want to create a, a function okay a function that uh, creates a composition of two objects it will receive object 1 and object 2 and we'll compose them so let's make it even a generic type function tu the first object will be of type t and the second object will be of type u and the composition is actually pretty simple to implement using the lodash uh, as uh, from lodash and the implementation is very simple let's make it assign in obj1 obj2 now the return type for now let's make it any okay because uh, we still don't know what intersection types are and now we want to create a monster which will be a composition of a new cat Mitzi which has nine lives and a new dog Sparky which doesn't bark on neighbors and we will uh, want to rename it uh, and do other stuff uh, which has both the cat interface and the dog interface all the properties of the cat and the dog so in order to make it uh, typed with the static typing we want to be able to uh, the type should be both the t type and the u type so after uh, we write it like this this is actually an intersection type uh, what it means is the type which is t and u is having both the properties of the t and the properties of u so now when I type monster I can use the name because the name is both on cat and the dog okay so let's name it uh, Sparky Mitzi and because it's a monster let's give it 100 lives and because it's also a monster, because it's a monster, it is, it is very mean and it barks on neighbors. So uh, intersection types uh, are good when we want the object to be an intersection of both types. Uh, we can use it as a function parameter as well, not, also, not only a return type, uh, to, to, to tell that we want it to be uh, the type needs to be both uh, t and u uh, so that whoever calls the function needs to implement both the, the interfaces for example if we have uh, some kind of an interface uh, which is I don't know interface mm destroyable okay which has a function destroy destroy and we have a an interface which is uh, I don't know uh, uh, um, let's make it an interface lengthable lengthable means it has a property read only pro, uh, get length okay and sorry read only length yeah and now we want to uh, be able to receive something that is uh, a lengthable and a destroyable and something and write a function that do, does something like this I don't know destroy if too long uh, and it uh, receives an object and it receives an object which is lengthable uh, and 
it destroyable. Okay, and it checks if the object length is too long, I don't know, 1000, then object destroy. Okay, so uh, we do not need to create an interface for both the length uh, and the destroyable, uh, and it, uh, it saves us declaring another interface just for the sake of this simple function. And we can request an object which has the property length and the function destroy uh, together. So with union types and intersection types, we can create a lot of uh, new types without uh, the need to declare a unique interface each time we are uh, introducing a new type. You have watched an episode about string literal, intersection and union types in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to watch other code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Programmarist.